And I love these maps because I lived in Heidelberg for 27 years, knew about it all my life. Um, both of these about the same, but like here's the lock houses next to the river. And uh, I remember the hotel, Quillen's Hotel. Uh, then they had um, two or three restaurants. We had a college up on the hill. We had a movie theater. We had a box factory, and it might be this right down here is where the box factory was. Anyway, my family had a body shop right in the middle of Heidelberg for 27 years. It used to be Paul Dones. And uh, so then we moved to Idomay, which is another section of my home now. Uh, it was really booming. We had seven little stores scattered all the way through. This is probably about a mile and a half long place. <laughs> but uh, these were lock houses. Uh, I've been through the lock many times. Now the lock is uh, concreted together. You can't go through anymore, which is sad because a lot of people went from there to Batable, Batable to there. Uh, the trains quit running a long time ago. Uh, I guess probably 69 years ago is when the depot closed down. My husband, Tim Reese, rode the last train through. He was three years old. I was to say. Allen's were a big part of it. Quillen's, Smith's. The Brandenburg's were actually, there was three sets of Brandenburg's come from Germany. Is actually the first ones that got off here. Now why it wasn't, maybe it's why it's called Heidelberg from Germany. I actually had a young, two young people from Germany, they were college students, and they stopped by and they were just snapping pictures of our Heidelberg body shop sign. So me and my grandson, he was about four at the time, we went out and I said, can I help you? And they said, well, we're from Germany and we saw this Heidelberg and we like to take pictures. And so they asked if they could take pictures of me and my grandson. So I said, well, sure. So we're over in Germany in college somewhere, our portraits, pictures are. <laughs> so that was pretty neat. That is pretty neat. So what kind of college was it? I'm not sure if it's a business college or just a regular college because it was up where the body shop was at the end of that lane. You go up on the hill and it was up there. I don't remember it and I don't remember the movie theater, but it was down by the railroad tracks after you go through uh, past the Heidelberg Church, which the Heidelberg Church now is a hundred 21 years old, I think. I think we just had the 121st reunion of the church. We have it every September on uh, Labor Day weekend. And uh, so all the old folks and, and new folks or whatever comes back to it. It's really fun. We've lost a lot of them, but it's still really good. Okay, so we had factories in Heidelberg, and I'm assuming these were back in the early 30s. We had a box factory in the field in the bottom, it was between the railroad tracks and the river. Uh, on the other side of the tracks and the road, going up the hill, which I think is called Sturgeon Creek now, um, we had a sewing factory. I'm thinking it was like three stories high. Uh, and then we had the movie theater down at the end of town. Uh, and it was by, when you go past the 121 year old church that we have there now, which it should be redone as historical, I think. It would really be good. Um, from the bridge, and then we had go across the river, and then we have what we call the mouth of the creek, which would be right in here. And you go down the lane here by the tracks, and they used to be what they call the fords. And all the young kids used to go down there swimming because it wasn't very deep. You could swim all the way across the river in that. It was called the Fords because that's where the wagons took their logs and wagons across. That was the lowest place there was. And so they wouldn't have trucks or anything. So they hauled it across with, with wagons and horses and mules, whatever. So that was a pretty good thing. Um, right here, like I said, at the lock houses and stuff, they're gone. And the lock wall is shut. But right here in this fence row, there was like weather gauges and Bill and Wanda Ross actually did those weather gauges every day. I'm thinking every day. It might have been once a week, but I'm thinking every day. And they actually turned that into the weather station to monitor how much rain we got and things like that, which I thought was really neat. 
I don't think they still do that anymore. Uh, we have a fantastic park here where the lock houses are now. Uh, for reunions, get-togethers, and have a nice picnic shelter, toys for the kids to play, a basketball course, nice bathrooms, horseshoe pits, so people should really be using that too. It's a beautiful place.